Over 30 million people in the world are infected by either HIV or AIDS. Today I'm here at the Jose Marti Community Center in Union City to commemorate the 24th annual World AIDS Day. The two most important goals for the day were to educate the community about how to protect themselves from AIDS and where to go for help with this and other health concerns. In addition, free HIV, blood pressure, glucose, and cholesterol testing were offered. People uh, who have no health insurance or can't afford it or are out of work uh, need to have some health screening as well. So everything that's done here in the way of screening is free of charge and open to the public. We came to bring some information out on um, STDs and HIV. It's a very important um, day for people to get knowledge and education so that they can prevent um, spreading this disease and also so that they can learn how to take care of themselves better if they do contract. So it's easy and free. <laughs> easy and free. That's the best, the best two things in life. <laughs> My department is, is the WIC program. So we serve um, pregnant women and young children up to f uh, five years of age where we pro, um, provide supplemental food, pro, uh, f supplemental food to this, um, whoever qualifies and also edu uh, nutrition education and breastfeeding support. I'm here with the friends of the Congressional Glaucoma Caucus Foundation. And what are, what are you doing? You're screening? We're doing a vision screening for the eye disease glaucoma. And what can people do once they find the results of these tests? Um, if they're found to be a suspect, if we suspect if we find that they're not, they didn't have misses on the peripheral test or the pressure's high in the eye, we're referring them to go for um, a dilated eye exam and get further tested. Two panels from the Incredible Names Project Memorial Quilt were on display. Each panel honors someone who lost his or her life to AIDS. Many people don't understand what it's like to live with this deadly disease. Sister Ann Riggs shared letters that were written to her from a longtime friend. Whoa. This is my friend Dennis. Uh, Dennis and I went to high school together, grammar school together, so childhood friends are, are hard to lose. Uh, Dennis died in the year 2000 from his uh, active AIDS infection, but he was diagnosed in the late 1970s and he lived with it for many years. Uh, and these letters reflect really what his life was like during that time, the loss of his partner, the uh, changes in medication, the complexities of having to live with AIDS day in and day out without really knowing what the outcome was going to be. So if you read them, some of them are hopeful. He's looking at an experimental thing. Others are sad and depressed and he misses the person that he was in love with. And. Uh, the letter on the far right on the bottom is the letter I received from his brother and his sister-in-law telling me he had died. Dr. Alberto Lacorta gave the keynote speech for the event, but the day wasn't all serious. It ended on a high note when entertainment was provided by the talented Lucio Fernandez, comedy group Pepito, and the Tapole Dance Company. For Hudson County TV in Union City, I'm Becca Fair.